So we'll factor everything out and then we'll list all the restrictions on the domain. So I'm going to factor, uh, let's just focus on the numerator first and then the denominator. That way we don't have to get things mixed up. So in the numerator, I got x squared minus 49. Uh, the nice thing about this is I have the difference of squares. x squared is a perfect square with x. And 49 is a perfect square as well with 7. That's 7 squared. So I got x squared minus 7 squared. So the, perfect, the difference of perfect squares means that we can split this up into x minus 7 and x plus 7. All right, then let's focus on the denominator. We got x squared plus x minus 56. So we need two factors of 50, negative 56, which when we add them would give us a 1. So, uh, yeah, 7 and 8, right? Uh, particularly when the 7 is negative and the 8 is positive, then it would give us this positive 1. So we can split that up since there's no coefficient of the x squared. We got x minus 7 and then x plus 8. All right, this is great. Once again, uh, we got an x minus 7 that's going to cancel out right here. And so what we're left with is we got that f of x equals, we got an x plus 7 in the numerator. I guess I don't really need parentheses here, but I use them already, dang it. And then x plus 8 in the denominator. You can show the parentheses there if you want, but you don't have to. So this is a good point, and I'm going to put it in here. Uh, if we split this up, right, if we looked at x plus 7 over x plus 8. Remember, this is a fraction, right, with a common denominator, which the denominator would be x plus 8. If we split this up, we have x over x plus 8 plus 7 over x plus 8, which is why we can't, at this point, cancel out the x's right there. In fact, at, even at this point right here, we wouldn't be able to cancel out the x's. Uh, now, if we look back to when we factored, because now we're looking at restrictions on the domain, we did have an x minus 7 times an x plus 8. And this can't equal 0. So we kind of split this up. Just that if x minus 7 equals 0, then it's a restriction on the domain. So this tells us that x cannot be 7. And then x plus 8, if that were 0, it would still make the domain 0. I mean the denominator 0. So x plus 8 also cannot equal 0, meaning x cannot equal negative 8. So those, those two in brown there would be the restrictions on the domain. Um, we have to be careful, though, because when we get into the, some of the word problems, one of these answers will make sense and the other may not.